I heart, get ready. Fantasy football is here. Welcome to the Scout Fantasy Show. ScoutFantasy.com is home to the Fantasy Football World Championships and the best players in the world. Real money winners giving their secrets to help you win. Now exclusively on iHeart. This is the Scout Fantasy Show with your host, the one, the only, Dr. Roto. Dr. Roto, get out the insurance cards, get out the copay. The office is open, my friends. And I want to spend today talking about playoff fantasy football strategies, how to go about playing, how to go about winning, and because it's all about the winning, right? That's what we do here. We win. So let me explain to you some of my strategies, and uh, there are different kinds of contests, and I'm going to talk about three in particular today, and you can find some of these contests at playffwc.com. The first one I want to talk about is the standard draft format that we have at the Playoff Draft World Championship. So this is much like your regular home leagues, all right? Things that you're very used to. So a team could have one quarterback, two running backs, three receivers, a kicker, a tight end, a defense. Now, in our formats, we do have um, the two flex positions, but most don't have that, okay? So this draft is serpentine. So whoever picks first in the first round usually picks last in every even round and we go up and back and up and back like you're used to. Okay, that's a typical draft. So what do you do when you take when you pick first? Who do you take? Well, let me talk about my number one strategy. My number one strategy I will call the power of three. I want three games played. Now, occasionally, every once in a blue moon, a team will win four. Very, very, very rare that that happens. Normally, I get three games. I want three games. If I get three games, I'm probably going to win. Three games means three chances of points. More points means better chance to score. If I score, I win. So what I want you to do is this. Before you would even start playing playoff fantasy football, take a look at each conference, the AFC and the NFC, and map out how you think it's going to go. So, for example, let's choose the AFC together, okay? I'll say Kansas City versus Tennessee. I'll go with Kansas City. Jacksonville versus Buffalo. I'll take Jacksonville. Then New England beats Kansas City, and Pittsburgh beats Jacksonville. And then I say New England beats Pittsburgh. So New England gets three games. Pittsburgh and Jacksonville and Kansas City get two. Buffalo and Tennessee get one. There you have it. Right? That's how it goes. So I want mo- more players from New England when I construct my teams. So if I'm picking one, I want to look for Patriots. Tom Brady, Deion Lewis, Brandon Cooks, Rob Gronkowski. The more Patriots I have, the better the chance I have of winning. Okay? The more Patriots I have, the better chance I have of winning if I... I think the Patriots are going to make it to the Super Bowl. I want to pick the Super Bowl teams. So if I have the Patriots and Panthers, well, I I better be right about Cam Newton. But because if Cam Newton loses in the first round to Drew Brees, I'm done. Okay? So here's the investment in these leagues. You're all in or you're all out. Go in on a team, take a shot that they go deep, and if they win, you're going to win. So if you pick the Chiefs to win, to beat the Titans and to pull off an upset in the next round and to get three games and nobody else has the Chiefs, you're going to win because you're the only team in your league who has the Chiefs. Which is why some teams may want to have three or four teams in the playoff rounds because if they go all in on one one or two of those teams, they have a better chance to differentiate. It's a smart move, and I get it. Okay, so that is the playoff format. Now, one and done leagues. There are two types of one-and-done leagues that I want to discuss. The first one is that one we have at the Beat Dr. Roto and Adam Ronas contest. You're allowed to use one player from each team, and that's it. So, once again, go through your map and see how you think the playoffs are going to go. When you get there, when you get there, then ask yourself... So, for example, I like, let's say I like the Patriots and I like the Panthers again. Let's just say that. I want to maximize the best players at the most high-scoring positions. 
So I'm going to put Tom Brady as my quarterback. Why? Because quarterbacks score the most points. If I can get 30 points from Brady over three weeks, I put up 90 points. If I put Marcus Mariota there, he plays one game, he gets me 10 points, I'm done. There's no way I can win. So I want to put the players in the from the teams I think are going to win in my best positions. Quarterback, running back, receiver. I'm going to put the crappier team's players at kicker and defense. So if I don't have a defense throughout the playoffs, am I going to cry? Well, I'm not going to be happy about that. But you know, how many points am I going to lose? 10? I'd rather lose a defense than lose a running back. So if I pick Tennessee, I don't want to pick DeMarco Murray. Because I think he's only going to play one game. I'd rather put him at defense. And then if I lose my defense, so be it. I'm going to lose something. At the end of the day, I'm only going to have two players in the Super Bowl, right? And I need to have the best two players from the and the right spots. So if it's the Panthers and the Patriots... I better have Brady and McCaffrey or Brady and Funchess or Brady and Olsen, right? Or I better have Cam and Lewis, Cam and Gronk, Cam and Cooks. I got to put them in the right spots. I put them in the right spots to score the most points, okay? That's how you win that. Not easy. It's a guessing game. But I also look for guys, if they're only going to play once, you better score for me. So that gets to the other format, the play them once format. Now, this is very, very tricky, and this is the one that most people play. You can only play the guy once in the playoffs. So strategy number one, pick a guy in week one from a team I think will lose. Dr. Roto, are you insane? Maybe. <laughs> My wife thinks so. But I'm not that insane. And here's why. If I could only play them once, if I play them the first week and they lose, I maximize them. So if I play DeMarco Murray in week one in the play him once format and he scores a touchdown, he scores 10 points and I'm done, there you go. He gave me 10 points. Thanks very much. I'll move on to the next guy. I play him once. He loses. That's perfect. Option number two, play a guy in week one that there's no way I would play him in week two. So, for example, I might play Blake Bortles in week one. Why? Because I know I wouldn't use him against the Steelers in week two. So I'll play him in week one against Buffalo because I know I would never use him again. This is my one shot to use him. Right? So I didn't use him in week one. I mean, I'm not going to use him in week two, and I don't think the Jacksonville Jaguars are going to the Super Bowl, so I can use Blake Bortles in the first week and get him out of the way. Okay? So let's go back to that first strategy again. Julio Jones and Todd Gurley, one of these two guys, I promise you, will be on my team in week one. I have to figure out which team is losing that game. Let's say it's the Falcons. I want to make sure I get Julio Jones in there for sure. Next, right... I'm going to use that. So then, going to the Blake Bortles strategy, I know I'm not going to use Bortles in week two against Ben Roethlisberger so, and the Steelers, so I might use Blake Bortles week one. Now, the final strategy that I want to share with you. Once again, I'm going to map out the Super Bowl. So I think the Super Bowl for me is easier in the AFC than the NFC to determine. Because of that, because of that, what I may do is save all of my Patriots and Steelers. Never play them. Because I think one of those two teams, I think one of those two teams will make the Super Bowl. So I will play every other team for the most part except my Patriots and Steelers. So what I'd like to do is in the NFC... I'm going to stick to the NFC for my playoffs as much as possible, right? I'll play Jones. I'll play Gurley. I'll play Jeffrey. I'll play Ertz. I'll play all these guys, right? And then in the Super Bowl, I'll throw in all my Patriots. Boom. 
I'll have Brady and Lewis and Burkhead and Cooks and Amendola and Gronkowski. And when Tom Brady puts up 40 points, I'll win. Or conversely, I'll do it with the Steelers. I'll go all in on the Steelers. I'll save one team to the end. Preferably two. The two teams that I think are going to play in the AFC Championship game. I won't play those two teams. I'll play every other team except for those two trying to win at the end. I, I can win a league that way. It's not easy, but I can do it. So I'm going to go NFC, 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 NFC. Boom, and then the last thing, go, go, go AFC. Boom, win. With me on that? Choose one league, use that league for the first three weeks, then turn to the, to the other team, the other league for the Super Bowl. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave the New England Patriots untouched. Now, if the Patriots lose to the Kansas City Chiefs, I'm done. But I was going to be done anyway, right? So I'm, I'm all in on the Patriots. I'm not going to play Brady, Lewis, Burkhead, all those guys. I'll use them in the Super Bowl, and then I'll get every point that the, the Patriots put up. To, to, that's another strategy. Okay? A lot of strategies to choose from. We've covered a bunch here. I hope they help. I do. I hope they help. But right now, it's time to put away the insurance cards, put away the copay. The office is closed, my friend. So here's what I'm going to do. Tomorrow, on Thursday, I'm going to break down the AFC wildcard games. On Friday, I'm going to break down the NFC wildcard games. And I promise you, I'm going to break down both of them on Saturday morning on Sirius XM Fantasy Sports Radio. Speaking of Sirius XM Fantasy Sports Radio, my man Adam Ronis and I will be back Monday through Friday from 7 to 9 a.m. Oh, yes, I'm looking forward to getting up to that. <laughs> but I'll be there. <laughs> Never ever see Dr. Roto at 6.30 in the morning? It ain't pretty. My voice doesn't start working until about 7.30. <laughs> I'm like this, <laughs> the first hour. But I'll be there because I love the chance to talk sports to all you people out there. But starting January 8th from 7 to 9 a.m., Ronis and I will be on together, Sirius XM, Sirius 210, XM87. All right, I'm looking forward to it. We'll have great guests on. We'll talk NBA. We'll talk NHL. We'll talk PGA. We'll talk NFL. And, of course, we'll talk MLB. By the way, speaking of MLB, Sean Childs is working on his first team outlook. All I can tell you is Sean Childs' team outlooks, game changers. It's all I read. I'm a much smarter man for doing it. All right, guys. Good luck in your playoff drafts. If you want to play playoff football, where do you go? PlayFFWC.com. Firstly, beat Dr. Roto and Adam Rona's contest. It's free to join. The winner gets a free entry into the Fantasy Football World Championship, valued at close to $1,800. Just have to beat my score or Ronis' score. It's a good starting point. Don't forget, I won a couple of years ago. Just throwing it out there. Secondly, then you get nothing. Then I get the entry. How about that? Ha-ha. <laughs> Maui Madness. 25 bucks can get you a week in Maui with round-trip airfare for four and six nights in Maui. Hello. Your wife will love you. And then finally, the playoff world, playoff draft world championship. It's exciting times. Get into one of our leagues. Playffwc.com right now. All right, guys. Wishing you a great day. This is Dr. Roto saying be well. Take care. Thanks for listening to the Scout Fantasy Show. There's never been a better time to join the Scout Army. Visit ScoutFantasy.com. Use the promo ROTO for two months free. And don't forget, fantasy players, please thumbs up the podcast on the iHeart app. See you next time. Go Scouts!